everyone, this is M1 Backstabber here giving you a match between Senegal and Algeria. This is the first match of the African qualifying section. Um, um, what I'm going to say is I'm going to definitely voice over every single match. Um, that is a big match. Or is the opening match for that team, just to give you a sort of rundown of that team. Um, anyway, I'm playing as Algeria here. Good team. Um, some good players. Ziani, Guerra, Guizal, Jebabor, if I pronounce that right. Um, they've got a lot of good players there. Bill Hadge as well, I forgot him. Um, they can do a real good job in the African qualifying section for the World Cup. Um, another thing about them is, well, another thing about the African qualifying is there's three different stages. I'm pretty sure there's three stages. There could be two. Um, and two of them are sort of against easier opposition, this is the first sort of group stage and it's very easy competition Senegal are actually a good team um, they're probably, they're definitely one of the harder teams you'll get in the first stage um, if not the hardest team well not, nah they're not the hardest team they're one of the harder teams um, that you can get because Algeria are top seeded and Senegal are second seeded and definitely one of the better second seeded teams. And this first match is in Senegal. Um, Senegal have some good players. Um, I would name them like Camera is a good player. Juf, well, both Jufs are good players. The one that's the arrogant player that plays for Blackburn right now is a good player. Put a good shot on him. And the other Juve, the one that used to play for Man United but now plays for Blackburn, also um, is a very good player. Um, and those are going to be some big troubles, troublesome players to deal with. Um, anyway, I'm sort of pressing for a goal. I want an early goal so I don't have to chase the game and go after the And always try and win your opening game, no matter what type of game it is. It's pretty important for you to win the opening game, just to get up a good start, and so you won't be chasing right from the start. And that was a pretty bad free kick. Um, Siani's a good player. He's not actually good in the game, but he's a good player in real life, and he can do a good job for you in, on FIFA. Bill Hadge is obviously a really good player. I'm not sure who he plays for, but he's a fast player. He's, and he can have a good shot in there most of everyone. So in this first group, there's four teams. Um, no, in this first sort of stage, there's four teams in it. Um, Algeria, Senegal. Um, and one of the other teams is Lip Liprea or something like that. And I can't even remember the other team because it's a pretty unknown team as far as football is concerned. Um, Senegal are probably better back early 2000s. They actually qualified for the um, World Cup and famously beat the holders France in the opening game. Um, good goal as well. But um, anyway, Senegal have kind of went pretty defensive here and sort of press. Well, I'm pressing them for a goal. Jebedor can do a job. Gazelle just sort of passing my way to the goal. Passing then. When I have a good chance, I'll shoot and give it a go. But their goalie uh, is pretty solid, and I'll pull off some decent saves here and there. 
But the thing about that goalie is he is um, a player that will not often catch the ball. That means he'll sort of just punch it away or um, he won't hold on to the ball is what I'm trying to say. Um, as well as some other people, so if you've got take a big sh long range shot on them from you say the area and they've got some players in the box and, if, and you, they've got some players in the box and you're right next to them run on side and just take a shot on them and you could easily get a goal out of that by just hitting the ball off the goalkeeper and then just tapping it in because he's been busy with his shot, he can't handle another one in this season. He's gone and did some cat moves or something like that, I don't know what to call it. Um, I'm probably going to stop the commentary in a minute because there's nothing really much to talk about with Algeria. They are a pretty attacking team. I would suggest their attack with Algeria you just go all out attack and until you get a goal and then go sort of more defensive and counter a wee bit more and stuff like that and there's a the goal um, but their defence is pretty solid and I was also looking for a player that called Ismail Buzi um, I was looking for him for the centre backs, but this game doesn't have him, so I'm pretty upset about that. Because he's actually a good player in real life, and I don't have a clue who these other two centre backs are. Because he didn't get picked for the World Cup, but mostly because he was injured. And yeah, he probably would have got picked, in my opinion. But I'm just controlling the game early on here. And they actually start to attack more towards the end, they just go for it at the end because they know they've got nothing to lose and just completely go for it. And that's, but that's in the second part, so you're going to have to watch the second part to see that. Um, so anyway, that's the video. Uh, see you next time. around in the uh, second half as players tire. We'll uh, see about that now. Ibrahim Afai. Diakate. Diao. Dia. Bouguera. Ziani. Emdani. Saifi. Gezal. Jebor. Ziani. Saifi. Salif Giao. Dia. And Diai. Ibrahim Asonko. Yes, nice ball. Couldn't get past. Hemdani. Magic Bagera. Ziani. Jebor. Happy to keep the ball, take their time. Saifi, Matmore, Jebor. Long clearance. 
Algerian throw. Manager's making a substitution, hoping to uh, find a way to change things and maybe save this match. Floated in, out for a goal kick, I'm afraid. Deal with the attentions of the defender, just run it out. Well, he's not the sort of manager to walk around with his hands behind his back if he thinks a change is needed. He's still trying to get something here, hence the change. Defender was all over him, attack just broke down. Hemdani, Mark Moore, 